Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Hamad Yusuf. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace the beauty of Commander in Chief Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who presented to His Majesty the members of the BDF Military Show Jumping Team on the occasion of winning the 22nd World Military Equestrian Championship for Show Jumping held in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. His Majesty congratulated the military team and hailed their historic and honorable achievement, which is added to the record of the achievements of the BDF and their distinction in the field of international military sports. His Majesty noted that team's distinguished performances and high skill which earned them first place to raise the status of Bahrain in this international sports forum. He praised the honorable results of the BDF military teams expressing appreciation to the general headquarters of the BDF for its support of military sports based on its goals in qualifying all military athletes and preparing them to achieve first place in all competitions and events. His Majesty wished the military team and all the kingdom's athletes success in their upcoming participation. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Skhir Palace the Chairman of the Board of Directors of Muharraq Club, Sheikh Ahmed bin Ali Al Khalifa, as well as members on the occasion of Muharraq winning the Asian Federation Championship Cup. His Majesty congratulated them on this honorable achievement and praised the efforts and performance of the players that resulted in winning the title. His Majesty also hailed the role of the administrative and technical teams in this regard and expressed hope that this accomplishment will be an incentive to make further achievements and upcoming events. His Majesty hailed the status of Harra Club and the many achievements made throughout its history. He also praised the role of the fans and their support to the team. His Majesty then praised the role of the efforts of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority, and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in elevating the level of Bahraini football and the sports sector in general. His Majesty wished the club and all Bahraini clubs further success in upcoming events. فرحتونا وفرحتوا الجميع الحمد لله عزم وتدريب وإرادة ونتيجة في الأخير نتيجة اليوم أصبحت أبطال الخليج ومن يومين صرت أبطال آسيا عد هذه قمة قمتين كمشجعين وياكم لا والله نتائج طيبة وأمامكم مسابقات قادمة إن شاء الله مسابقات مهمة لكن إن شاء الله أنتوا قد المسؤولية على كل حال مشكورين على زيارتكم وأنا حبيت أشوفكم تقدير لكم وتقدير للمشجعين اللي شجعونكم وكل من حضر ذاك اليوم والحقيقة المنظر فرحنا ونهنيكم على الجوائز الأخرى اللي حصلتوها ومشكوري the chairman of the board of directors of Amharra Club expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and affirmed that this achievement is thanks to the care and support of His Majesty the King. He also hailed the follow-up and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and his contribution to this achievement as well as the in development of the sports sector. He then praised the role of His Highness Sheikh Nasser and the support of His Highness Sheikh Khalid in contributing to making this achievement.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Dhabiya Palace. The cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness following Muharraq Clubs winning the Asian Cup for the second time. The cabinet commended the efforts and capabilities of Muharraq Club which reflect the development of Bahraini sports and its distinguished position at the regional and international levels. The cabinet stressed the importance of the speech made by His Royal Highness at the COP26 which reflected the kingdom's support for international efforts to overcome climate change and develop innovative solutions to achieve climate security, reiterating Bahrain's commitment to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. The Kingdom also announced its plans to reduce emissions by 2035, as well as the Kingdom's support for key international climate change initiatives. In this regard, the Cabinet assigned the Ministerial Committee for Financial Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance to follow up in this regard. The Cabinet affirmed Bahrain's support of the UAE request to host the 28th UN Climate Change Conference in Abu Dhabi in 2020. Noting the UAE's capabilities in organizing international events and unifying efforts to ad address international challenges. The cabinet then condemned the assassination attempt on the Prime Minister of Iraq, Mustafa Al-Kadhimi, denouncing this act of terror aimed at destabilizing Iraq's security and stability and inciting sedition in Iraq. The cabinet then approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft decision on the rules and provisions for distributing plots of land for planning and compensation for the owners of real estate located within the boundaries of these projects. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding a draft MOU between the Supreme Council for Environment in Bahrain and the Ministry of Environment in Korea on environmental cooperation which aims to enhance cooperation between the two countries. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the participation of the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities and the World Crafts Council. A memorandum by the Ministry of Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding a number of MOUs with the UAE, which aims to further strengthen the bilateral cooperation. A memorandum by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding a number of MOUs between Bahrain and Brazil, which aim to enhance bilateral cooperation across various fields. A memorandum by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism regarding the accreditation of Brazil as a partner of the International Sea Air Cargo Services Center in Bahrain. And a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal for a law submitted by the Shura Council. The Cabinet then reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Housing regarding progress on the implementation of new urban plan which documents the achievements of the Kingdom's national and international agendas in its quest to implement the 2030 Sustainable Development Goals. The Cabinet then took note of the ministerial reports regarding participation in the world travel market in London and meetings with officials of the education sector in the United Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the GCC Ministers of Finance, who participated in the 114th meeting of the GCC Financial and Economic Cooperation Committee, which was held in the Kingdom of Bahrain at Gdaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of enhancing integration and supporting development, including economic and financial development, to realize the aspirations of the citizens of the GCC. His Royal Highness further highlighted the importance of building upon past successes to meet the objectives and visions of their Majesties and Highnesses, the leaders of the GCC countries. For their part, the GCC Ministers of Finance expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his commitment to strengthening GCC relations at all levels. They noted the successful organization of the event and wished Bahrain further progress and prosperity. 
A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Prime Minister of Iraq Mustafa Al Kadhimi. During the call, His Royal Highness condemned the assassination attempt against the Prime Minister of Iraq. The Prime Minister expressed his gratitude and appreciation to His Royal Highness's compassion, wishing the Kingdom of Bahrain continued security and stability. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of Huawei Middle East and Africa and member of the Huawei Supervisory Board Stephen Yi at the Abiyya Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of continuing to develop the Kingdom's ICT sector to strengthen the Kingdom's comprehensive development. He noted the importance of continuing to provide services that employ modern technologies and benefit citizens and residents. His Royal Highness commended the role of international companies for their contributions to the Kingdom's ICT sector and the role of the national workforce and furthering the vital sector. The latest technical developments of Huawei globally and the company's contributions to the provision of the telecommunications serv services alongside other telecom service providers in the kingdom were reviewed. For his part, Stephen Yee expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet His Royal Highness and noted His Royal Highness's continued support to strengthening Huawei's contributions to Bahrain and advancing the kingdom's ICT sector. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Dar Chlaib and Deir clubs as part of His Highness's keenness to enhance communication with sports facilities. His Highness met with the President of both clubs, Mahfouz Tamar and Ali, as well as a number of members. His Highness expressed appreciation for the efforts of both clubs in serving Bahraini sports, expressing hope that the new administration will continue the development of the sector. His Highness then listened to a briefing from the presidents of the clubs regarding their future plans that aim to develop the sports sector of the kingdom. For their part, the presidents expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid for his continuous support and hailed his efforts and contributions to serving the sports sector in the kingdom. The Speaker of the Representatives Council for Ziyazina received a delegation from the High Commissioner for Human Rights and Russian Federation headed by Professor Tatiana Moskalkova. The meeting discussed bilateral relations and cooperation in all fields, especially legal and parliamentary ones. The two sides also reviewed the legislative branch's achievements in protecting and promoting human rights. The Speaker affirmed the deep historical relations between Bahrain and Russia in all fields under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and President Vladimir Putin, wishing Russian people good health and happiness and Russia further progress and prosperity. The Russian delegation praised the democratic experience of Bahrain represented by the reform project of His Majesty the King and the role of the Council of Representatives in supporting the human rights system in the kingdom with laws and legislation. The commissioner stressed the importance of cooperation in the human rights field and parliamentary affairs at the regional and international levels, wishing Bahrain further progress and prosperity. 
The chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received a delegation from the EU Parliament upon their visit to the kingdom. Saleh affirmed that the kingdom has made great strides in the fields of human rights and civil liberties for all citizens and residents on all levels. He said that these achievements are the result of the vision of the leadership and affirmed that the legislative authority is always keen on cooperating with the government in order to further develop the fields of human rights, coexistence and tolerance. For their part, the guests praise the development that the kingdom is experiencing on all levels, especially in the fields of education health, security, economic and social development. They also praised the Kingdom's efforts in containing the pandemic successfully. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Saleh, received a delegation from the Russian Federation's Higher Commission on Human Rights. He affirmed that the Kingdom's success in the fields of human rights and civil liberties are the result of the reform project of His Majesty the King, which guarantees these principles. He also affirmed the progress made under the leadership of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister through various strategies to enhance the fields of human rights, democracy and women's empowerment. The two sides discussed the field of human rights through cooperating with the Higher Commission's institutions ahead of the Commission praised the role of the Supreme Council for Women and Empowering Women and Enhancing the Field of Human Rights. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani, launched the Bahrain Bay project within the 2022 and 2026 tourism strategy to achieve economic recovery. Zayani affirmed that the project affirms the keenness of the government to enhance the tourism sector and added that these kinds of projects attract investment opportunities as well as opportunities for citizens. Zayani highlighted that in cooperation with the public sector, this project will contribute to achieve economic growth. The minister hailed the role of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority in developing several projects that enhance the economic sector of the kingdom.